What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can make a bar chart like the one you see right here that will automatically highlight the negative values in a different color. So, I'm going to delete this real quick and show you how to do it. So, first, you want to highlight the data that you want to make into a bar chart, which is going to be the date and sales right here. Then, you can just press the control key or go to the insert tab, but I like the control key just because I think it's a bit easier. Um, go click on charts. And then you can click on the clustered, clustered column chart or click on more. Let's see all the different charts you can have. Uh, click on all charts. And under column chart, you're going to click on the first clustered column chart that you see. Then click OK. Now we have just a basic bar chart or, or column chart, or whichever you prefer for name wise. Now, to make this chart look like the first one did with the negative values in a different color, we want to right click on one of the bars. Then you see this little window pop up. We want to go to the bottom and then click Format Data Series. Now we're going to want to click on this little bucket, this little line bucket. And we want to click on this checkbox right here Invert if negative, which, as you can see, changes the negative bars into a different color but we want to then change the fill from the automatic fill into the solid fill and as you can see by changing it from the automatic fill to the solid fill a second fill bar pops up right here and the white corresponds to these negative values so we're going to want to click on this white bar bucket right here and then change it to whatever color you want to have um, as a negative value so here you can click on red for example and now is all you have to do and the negative values will show up as red so a couple of additional for things that you can do just to get this bar chart looking like the first one did um, first for the axis you can right click on the axis click format axis you can change labels right here from next to axis to low and go down Click on the number, change it. We want this total number to be date format, but change the format code to be month to be day day dash month month month. Click add, and as you can see, it's a date dash the month name. And you can also just add the axis right here. So click on axis title, and then you can have, for example, dollar sign right here, and then type in date right here. Um, also, one last thing is to get this chart looking like the first one. You can just add a date label by clicking on this plus box and clicking, clicking the check box right here. So, yeah, so there you have it. I hope you found this to be useful. And if you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.